Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here and this is a uh, video 325 I believe, right? So here, let me talk about actually why you're probably on here. Why coffee isn't just for closers, okay? And this line, coffee is for closers, if you guys know what this movie, what that movie comes from, type it in the actual comment box, okay? It's one of my favorite movies and I think any hustler or quote unquote salesperson have heard of where that line comes from, right? Um, and that line is A, B, C. And that ABC is not American born Chinese, all right? I said that in the Asian community once. I said, What is ABC? And they were just like, American born Chinese. And I was just like, No, 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 okay? It's always be closing. That's what it stands for, all right? Um, but there's a line in this movie that says, Coffee's for closer. And really it is, all right? But as I sip this Americano on ice from my favorite coffee shop I go to right here, like literally, like almost every day, coffee bean. I want to talk about a quick story about coffee, all right? And it's a story that was I heard many years ago, and I read it, and I was just like, wow, how powerful is that? Because I never thought of it that way. So the story starts off like this, that this little girl, she's like first grade, and comes home from school, and she just had a hard time at school, right? Kids are picking at her, and everything that seemed to go wrong went wrong, um, and she was just having a terrible, terrible day, and you know, things spilling on her, almost twisting her ankle, right? So it was just a bad day for her, right? And the teacher kind of getting upset at her as well. And she was just having a bad day. So she goes up to her mom and she says, Mommy, Mommy, she's just like, I'm just having a bad day and I don't know what to do and I don't want to go back to school anymore. You know, and that's what she says. And she tells that to her mommy. And uh, the mom at that time has a couple of options. You know, what are you going to do? So the mom decided to actually give her an example of what life is and how people deal with uncertainty, deal with like tough times. And and I think it's, it's even more important now, especially as it's like it's the beginning of the, the year, right? So some people are still jazzed up about like the new year resolution, super excited, super pumped, okay? Some other individuals might be like, ah, you know, I haven't hit my... January go yeah I'm going into February oh no right so uh, so depending on where you're at are you losing the mojo are you gaining momentum right depending on where yeah I think this is gonna really help because throughout your journey I think in 2017 I know this for a fact and I think every smart individual right as long as you're not like fooling yourself you know that you're gonna run into obstacles you're gonna run into challenges okay it's just given that's what life is so going back to the story of that little little girl that was having all these challenges at school and went up to her mom and says hey hey mommy I'm having these difficulty, these difficult uh, challenges. I don't know what to do. And the mom basically says, come here. And uh, she goes into the kitchen and she gets three pots, right? And uh, with these three pots, she pours water into these uh, three pots and she starts to boil them. And then the girls are like, mommy, what are you doing with these uh, water? She says, J just wait, honey, I'll explain what this all means. And then she goes to the refrigerator all right and she opens the refrigerator and she takes out three things okay so first one that she takes out is a carrot so she gets the carrot place it on the granite countertop the next thing she goes in and grabs out of the refrigerator is eggs right so it was in a dozen cart of eggs and pulls that out puts it on the countertop and then the next thing that she gets uh, was she goes into the cabinet and just takes out some coffee beans and place it on the countertop and then she goes honey let me explain in this world that there's three types of individuals. And she says, look, and she puts the carrot in that boiling water. All right? And then she says here, and then she takes the egg and puts the egg in the boiling water. And then she takes the coffee beans, kind of a handful of coffee beans, and puts it in that boiling water as well. And then she says, oh, honey, you know, as I said earlier, you know, there's three types of people in this world. And she said, look, if the first individual is like the carrot. They're hard on the outside, all right? But as things get boiled up, right, things get hot, things get difficult, just like this water here, what happens to this carrot? It becomes weak and it becomes soft and it becomes limber. And she pulls out the carrot by that time it's boiling. And then you can see that carrot that was actually originally hard is kind of limbering and it's kind of waving its left and right. And then the daughter looks at her with the big eyes and she goes, oh, okay. And then she goes to the daughter again. She goes, and honey, the second type of individual is like an egg. They may have a thin layer they may seem tough, but in the inside, they're really, really soft. 
but when they go through tough times or they go through turbulence or they go through challenges like this boiling water, this egg sits in, what it does is that that water transforms them. Originally they were kind, they were soft on the inside, but as the water gets heated up and they got heated up, they became hard in the inside. And she takes out the egg and cracks open the egg and we all know what happens when you leave an egg in hot water. It becomes what? Hard boiled egg. And uh, she explained to her daughter that says, look, and you know, those are the second type of individual um, that they go through the challenges and as things get tougher and tougher, they become really hard on the inside. And then the daughter looked at her even more with bigger eyes and nodded her head and says, I get it, mommy. And then she goes to the third one and she grabs the pot of pan, you know, because she's small and she, you know, it's still boiling and she brings it down and so that way her daughter can actually look at the water in the actual uh, boiling pan. It says, honey, this one is the third type of people. They're like the coffee bean. And she says, what do you see in the water? And she goes, um, it's kind of brown. And then she says, you're right. And then what do you smell? He's like, oh, it smells like coffee. It smells awesome. And she goes, that's right. And she goes, the third type of individual during adversity, during challenges, like, you know, the water, the analogy that we use, right? The coffee bean has the ability to change its environment. So not only change its environment and color, but also at the same time, be able to actually even create a distinct smell. Right? So the mom turns to her daughter and says, okay, honey, so you had a tough time at school today. I know you told me what happened. So tomorrow, which one are you going to be? Are you going to be the carrot? Or are you going to be uh, the egg? Or are you going to be the coffee bean? And she goes and says, mommy, I'm going to be the coffee bean. Right? So the moral of the story, as I said, is the, the really coffee isn't always for closers. But as I said, this the time of the year, you know, right now, as I'm recording this, right, um, is we're still in the beginning of the year. You know, some people, as I said earlier, with their goals, they may have been on right on track with their goals. And if I'm a firm believer, if you're right on track with your goals, probably your goals weren't that big enough. <laughs> okay, that's number one. You may want to adjust those. Um, and uh, secondly, is that you might be upset or you might get to whatever it is with your goals, okay? Um, <clears throat> but the bottom line is this, okay? First off, you're gonna run into challenges. I cannot stress this enough, you will. All right. If your goals are big enough, if your goals doesn't scare you first off, then it's not big enough. And if it is big enough, you're going to run into challenges. And the question is, are you going to be able to withstand that turbulence? Are you going to have the willpower? Are you going to have the strength to fight against um, the naysayer, fight against even the probably the biggest challenge is yourself and be able to change the environment like the coffee bean and don't turn into a withering uh, carrot that turns soft under pressure or turn into an egg where if you are under pressure, you actually get hardened and calloused inside and uh, versus turning into a coffee, being the coffee bean and being able to change the entire environment and not just the color of the environment, but even bring on the aroma, right? So change the aroma, the smell and everything. So again, be the coffee bean. But remember, coffee is for closers. <laughs> so uh, that's all I got for you on this uh, beautiful day. I may hop on later on throughout the day and do some live streams. So if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. Uh, let me get your thoughts. This is Jeff Koga. Love y'all. Take care and bye-bye.